I did it. I'm streaming on my own channel. <laughs> but of course, you're not going to get our lovely faces today. Instead, no. you're going to get our fingers. <laughs> yeah, it's not about our faces today. It's really, is it ever about our faces? Well, Steven needs eye candy for his audience every now and then. So that's why he gets us ladies up. City, Bigfootson, and Foxy, and Steven. The hubby, number one support for you. <laughs> Are they salad fingers? Does does Foxy watch salad fingers? Because that's kind of creepy. Uh, I don't know what salad fingers are, but they are not scissor fingers. <laughs> I know what those are. Okay. A YouTube horror cartoon called Salad Fingers. Mm, doesn't sound pleasant. Okay. So, me and Jenna both have this puzzle. As you can tell, it is clearly not AI generated. And you would definitely put salt water and freshwater fish together. And this, this tank is not overstocked at all. Right, Jenna? Emma, you have goldfish and your goldfish just kind of like hang out floating around outside the tank sometimes too, right? Well, I think the ones that are floating out, except for that one at the top is like jumping out. <laughs> there's so there's like figurines, the one in the on the bottom, but that one at the top is just chatting away with the cats. Can <laughs> <laughs> you mean your cats and fish don't talk? Do what? Do I your keep Your cat and fish don't talk to each other? Um, I don't know. Our cat is very vocal. She likes to I'm in the living room, so y'all will very likely hear her screaming at me at some point. <laughs> okay so when do you want to start do you want to just get to it yeah and oh it's uh i am off work because there is bad weather so if the electricity goes out i just become extremely <laughs> handicapped and i have to use a flashlight <laughs> You won't be streaming if the electricity goes out. I could switch to this phone and use data. Uh, I guess. And flash. Like sure. And if you are interested in participating in a puzzle party, let me know. And we'll look into getting some puzzles together. This is definitely not going to be a semi regularly scheduled program <laughs> this was just decided last night <laughs> yeah well i mean we've been talking about it but ever yeah so uh zen asked if we got all the edge pieces sorted so i have all of my edge pieces in this box and i have all my edge pieces right here so are we going to just yep. start working? Let's do this. Oh, no. Brooklyn. What is she doing? <laughs> I made a... Yep. I got the playlist. Just one of them, Zenny. Zenny <laughs> has a seahorse puzzle. So you're going to see her up on my channel in the near future doing a puzzle off with me. That sounds exactly like something she would do. No, she's going to do it. She's going to do it. She doesn't have a choice. And she said yes. Oh, she she did. She said yes, exactly right. I see it in chat. Yep. I've 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 taken screenshots, so I have evidence 
of her agreeing to a lot of things in life. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. Shh. 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 How's that? <laughs> you can look at it and see. Well, it's for you just to see. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's fine. It's not fine. It's, you know, when Steven's got breaks, he can always come and give you a, a boost of help. I don't know. I had no break. <laughs> so rude. I hope everyone hears how rude he is to me on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. He is pure evil. I only bring you light. <laughs> which is something that God would do, but you know. <laughs> Go there. Let's see. What's chat say? <laughs> oh, what? I wasn't reading chat and didn't realize. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> you were lying and making that up. Me and Jenna are doing a puzzle off right now. Puzzle party. We're going to see how long it takes us to attempt to finish a 750 piece cat's watch watching a fish tank puzzle. Yep. And there's fish in the puzzle, so that makes it a fish stream. Mm-hmm. I wonder how aggressive I slam these puzzle pieces. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's a good way to get out some of your frustrations. Also, don't expect there to be a lot of talking on this stream, I guess. Yeah, we didn't have enough time to schedule a chat reader for us. All of the people that promised to do it are busy. We're sleeping. Fuck you, Matt. <laughs> Chat is flying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> One good thing about not really advertising this stream and everything is it's nice and slow and steady. It doesn't become overwhelming.
I swear I'm missing pieces already. <laughs> we will find them as we go, I guess. Eventually, they'll just magically appear. So the person who invented zero thinks for nothing. Grow channels. So funny, Steve. Is this the pop top or the pop? I think this is the top. Man, yeah, Fish Fam Link don't even like my stream. Hasn't even popped in chat to say hello yet. And it like recognized your stream like immediately. Like you went live and it immediately put the notification out. Matt did some voodoo on it, I bet. Possibly. He's like, if I can't watch this stream, no one can. He's not here to, like, discredit that, so. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Kara C and Square Table Degenerate and Coro. Doing mod work, even though he's not a mod. <laughs> My mods are the mods I assigned when we premiered I Am a Snail. <laughs> that was the last time I did anything on StreamYard. <laughs> on my stream. I've got two corners done. It definitely doesn't go there. So this puzzle can be found on Amazon, but I got mine from Walmart. I also got mine from Walmart. It is called Kitten Distraction. And the cat's definitely look very distracted with all that's going on in this tank. <laughs> Oh, Fish Fam Link is finally here. Nice see you just show up, Linky.
there are some like weird pieces in this puzzle, like weirdly shaped pieces. Yeah, I normally do puzzles from the buffalo brand. So I'm not used to some of these funky shapes that we are getting. Mine says Buffalo Games. Yeah. You're right. I guess I just always do the same ones that I don't have any of the um, Z-shaped ones that connect. Yeah. Lost my train of thought. Oh, I found the Oh no. Zinni, investigate. What? Uh, too coolie for school that he was having a hard time finding Myrtle's Printify. Oh. I know people were ordering it like last week. If um, someone verifies that it's working, maybe drop the link in chat to the Printify store. And it should, um, it should ship to Canada because too cool is in Canada. I think. Okay, Steven says it's still up.
while we are all here say bingo things, I mean, Zen had the <laughs> opportunity to drop the same link as a separate link, and she said, screw bingo. <laughs> now it's too late because it's not the same time. Zen was just having too much fun to remember I think about to get coffee, which is, I guess, fun for Zen. <laughs> Facts. So is this stream bingo eligible for everyone except for me and Annette? Yeah. Come on, Stephen, ask Jenna some tantalizing questions. I just heard him laugh in the <laughs> other room. <laughs> hmm. Oh, he said it was a cough. God forbid he finds anything funny. He's just Make lost sure all sense of Women are not funny. <laughs> yeah, that would be what he thinks. Gosh, Steven. Well, I think Jenna's pretty funny. So it's not restricted to fishy streams. Well, there this are is fish. fish. There are fish in this picture, which makes it a fish puzzle. There's a very fishy stream going on right now. Dora. Dora the Emperor. Okay, so I just have a chunk of the top and then I'm done with it, the border. You're much faster at puzzles than me. <laughs> You'll get there in no time. I don't do puzzles like real life puzzles very often. I do have a puzzle app that I do sometimes. I haven't done puzzles in a hot minute though. I'd been doing um, diamond art recently. That's been my go-to source of puzzling recently. I've already messed up somewhere. <laughs> These pieces do not connect. So I connected something to connect. Most investigated.
Nice. All right, there we go. Okay, so I have the entire border done now. I am moving on to randomness. <laughs> And red on the box. <laughs> what uh foxy said diamond art seems fun but she's pretty sure it would include cat fur 100 percent. but you just kind of hide it and then you can maj paj to give it a nice seal I have my own kitten distraction here. She is like 
insistent on being on top of me as I do the puzzle. She just wants love. It looks like puppy Shane is escaping Brian right now. <laughs> Take a video. <laughs> it's only fun to watch when there's an audience. Oh, this one red book. Oh, that's where it is. Down here. J Rock is offering to give you a thousand puzzles. So he's talking about the Thomas Kincaid um, thousand piece puzzle. Be more specific at which one it is, and I likely have it. <laughs> Thomas Kincaid Disney one is my all time favorite puzzles to do. I started off liking the Thomas Kincaid ones, and then I discovered that he does the Disney versions too. And I have. So many of them right now. I've even got some of them that are like the holographic or the glitter version, special editions of it too. I have 10 of them from the 100th series. Let me go take a gander. I've got a lot of from the Silver Selection, 100 Series, yeah. Ooh. 
one's not telling me the key. Okay, so here's a few that I have that are at the top of my collection for the Thomas Kincaid Thousand Piece Hundredth Collection from the Silver Selection Edition. They're at the top, so they're probably the last ones I did. <laughs> but I have an entire closet full of puzzles. So this goes down here this way. No, it doesn't. This goes over here. Books. Goes this way. light pink coming from What's over here. <laughs> do your kids help with the puzzles? So my oldest has gotten into wanting to do his own puzzle. So for Christmas, he got his very own puzzle table. And he does like a lot of the Pokemon Marvel puzzles and all that on his own. Um, the youngest one, he likes to like help me organize the puzzle. So he likes to flip over the puzzle pieces and separate the edges and all that, but he doesn't quite have the, <laughs> the, uh, what's it called, Jenna, where they like to, they can't do something for too long. Attention, attention span. span. Yeah. The youngest doesn't have the attention span to do a puzzle that's not a hundred pieces or less. So it depends. There's a bunch of different versions of a puzzle table. So the one I have, uh, Jenna and Steven and them got it for me. <laughs> um, it has two raised edges. So that way they don't like slide off. There are puzzle tables where the entire, all four edges are raised, but I like not having it like all raised because that way I can slide pieces off instead of having to like pick them all up if it was all raised. Um, and then um, I have a clear sleeve that can go over the puzzle table. So if I don't, um, I put that sleeve over there and the kittens won't, Cats won't c climb up on it and get the puzzle pieces stuck to their paws because that's how I've lost many of puzzle pieces. Sometimes I'll find them. I have a little cup of random pieces that I find later that I'm not quite sure what puzzle it goes to. So whenever I redo a puzzle and it's missing a piece, I'll go into the cup and see if 
I have since found the missing piece. <laughs> but puzzle, they also have like drawers in the puzzle tables. So like right here, so you can like lay out all your pieces in the drawers, slide it in when you're not using it. Gives you more room. There are some puzzle um, tables that will go in like a 90 degree, not probably not a 90 degree, like a 60 degree angle and adjust so you could prop it up if you wanted to. But, yeah. but I like this one. It's got little legs. I can fold the legs down and store it really easy when I'm not using it. It doesn't get in the way. There's one that's going viral on TikTok right now because it's got like a spinny feature. So you put it on a table and it like spins 360. But I think everyone should have a puzzle table in their house. Because <laughs> you can also use it for other things besides just puzzle. Like I do the diamond art on the puzzle table. So that way I don't have to just do it at like the dining room table or my desk or something. I can do it in the living room, do it in my room. Yeah. You can play games on it. It's a nice good surface. That goes there. I'm gonna find a cat piece with some pink on it. This was some purple. Yeah, the youngest has a Lego table, and it's got the changeable sides where one side of the table is flat, and it's got, like, a little car train design on it, and then you turn it around, and it's got the boards for puzzles. I mean, for puzzles. For Legos to clip on it. That was their Christmas presents. The youngest got the Lego table. The oldest got a puzzle table. So what is your strategy after border? Is it color blocking or pattern? Um, I did color blocking first. I just grabbed all the pinks, reds, and purples. So I was able to get a lot of the purple bushes and stuff done. Some of the red books. I was working on the red plant in the left-hand corner of the tank. That was a little bit harder because it's more stretched out with a couple colors here and there. 
And I was trying to figure out what this fish went. It goes over here. And then as I was doing that, I saw the herd of discus. What's a group of discus called? I called them herd. I don't know. Someone look that up. But I think once I'm done with this, I might try to do some of the cats, maybe. Debating on if I want to do the cats or if I want to try and do the full fish tank and then work on the outside. Steven says it's probably just a shoal of discus. Um, then asked if we have any fishy plans. Fishy plans? Yeah, like plans relating to fish. Oh, okay. Hmm. Not really. <laughs> I am pretty boring with my fish tank. Um, eventually, I'm going to replant the 90 gallon. But. Yeah. Not rushing on all that. Let us know when you're ready so we can make sure to send you more plants, right? Yes. I've been more thinking about like spring cleaning and painting and like all that stuff than fish stuff recently. I blame Brooklyn. She's got me all over the place. What about you, Jenna? Um, fish plans? Yep. Uh, none that I am particularly aware of. Um, well, I guess, so at Aquafest last year, I won a five gallon tank and we still haven't put anything in it. <laughs> Sounds so, like something I would do. So I guess I need to do that. Um, I was thinking about Caradina shrimp because we have the RO unit. Maybe raccoon shrimp, but I'm not 100% positive. 
Now, is this going to be a tank that you are solely responsible for, or is Steven going to take it over? Um, Steven is probably still not going to let me do water changes. <laughs> is he going to let you plant it? Yeah, I mean, he let me plant my 55. Perfect. Where would you put the five gallon? Oh, it's already in its spot. It's uh, next to, it's on my nightstand. How long has it been in that spot? Um, since before Kelly came in February. <laughs> so it's just been waiting and looking at you the whole time. Yes. <laughs> oh, look who is awake, Matthew. Are you going to come read chat for us, Matthew? Steven has been making you stare at this empty tank since February. Sure, we'll say that he's making me stare <laughs> at an empty tank. I at least had the decency to keep my empty tank in the closet. And it would probably still be in the closet if it wasn't for mixed dreamy. You guys shamed me into setting it up. <laughs> Steven, you're not on panel. Your voice goes unheard. <laughs> His voice is whatever Jenna says it is right now. <laughs> She has full control over relaying whatever message she wants to. Zenny's learned about this firsthand. <laughs> so far, this red plant has been the most annoying. Can't connect it without finding the goldfish pieces. What other shoals of fish are in here? So there's some like tiny discus. Super tiny. Yeah, a whole bunch of them. But one large discus. That's all the way in the corner. Can you name all the saltwater fish that are in here? I cannot name all the saltwater fish. I see. Are these freshwater <laughs> crabs or saltwater crabs? I have no idea. There's like two different kinds of crabs. So there's like an orangey one in that rock cave. And then there's a purple one right front and center at the bottom. I know that I see some like saltwater angelfish. 
Which ones are those? Uh, well, like the one at the bottom by the pink plant and the rocks. That looks like an emperor oh. angel fish. Oh, that's the guy from Finding Nemo, the the, the mean mug guy. That's and then the ones that are over by the like two orange cats, those are um, Moorish idols. Yeah, like Nemo. Uh, there's a clownfish. <laughs> um, I see a mostly purple with a little yellow tail fish. Maybe those are called chromis. So, have you guys decided what's going in the saltwater tank? No. The saltwater tank currently has uh, white cloud, golden white cloud mountain minnows that have been breeding, and uh, quarries in the tank. So we need to have somewhere to put those before we kick them out for salt water. We we're originally going to put those white clouds in the pond and then it was like super hot when they arrived. So we didn't want them to burn. And then they got comfy and cozy in their new day. Steven is thinking cyanodorsalis, which is a type of pseudomegill. That can live in salt or brackish water, I think. We can't. No. Welcome in, Big Steve. I'm working off camera. I gotta remember to adjust the camera when I need to. Yeah, this is the big one that goes over here. Where's the rock? Poro is confusing Stephen by offering him another type of fish. Okay, Jenna, should I work on cats or stick with the fish tank? Cats. <laughs> okay. Maybe that white cat will be a good start. Steve says all the cool reef fish and you're gonna do a rainbow a pseudomagill. I'm interested to see what snail goes in your saltwater tank. I actually think if we're doing salt, we should get an all salt fish, not a fish that could be brackish. My opinion. In your opinion, it's the only one that matters. So. Well, he's going to be the <laughs> one doing like majority or all of the tank maintenance. So 
His opinion matters. <laughs> nah, just give him some puppy dog guys. And then your opinion will become his opinion. Stephen should do seahorses to beat Vin to it. Seahorses are very fragile and we have a lot of travel coming up. So I don't know that that makes sense. What's all this traveling you shall be doing? Um, well, I probably have a family reunion that I'm going to have to go to. In a few do weeks. you do those every year? They have them every, so they didn't have them at all until like three years ago. And then they had one and I thought, well, that's, I guess it's the first one we should go is after the pandemic. And then they had one last year and my uncle had had like a lot of surgery, wasn't doing very well. So I was like, I guess I should go to that one just in case, you know, I would feel bad if anything happened. And then this year, my brother moved back to the States from China and I haven't seen him in like five years. So I feel like I should go to this one at least. But if they and have one, are you bringing the kids or is Steven staying home with the kids? No, the, it would probably be that I would take the kids and maybe my mom would go with me because even though they're like, it's my dad's side of the family but she was married to my dad for like 20 years before they got divorced. So it's still kind of like her family, even though not technically. I, I yeah. Know. Makes sense. All these cat's eyes look the same. Straight. So. But yeah, so Stephen will stay home, and then we're probably going on some type of small family vacation in May. Um, we might be going to the barbecue, 4th of July barbecue with Dan. Um, Would you bring the kids with you to that one? No. We would not. And they'll be out of school, so it won't be a big deal. We'll just... My mom lives like a minute away, so she would watch the kids and feed the pets for us. And then in September, we have... Not September this year. October, we have the clash. That's all the planned, 100% planned travel that we have. Yeah. The only planned travel I have is The Clash. Other than that, no, no bridges for me. <laughs> I have um, I, one more thing that I might be doing, like, on my own that I've told you about, but still waiting on, like, approval and stuff, so I'm not going to, like, jinx that. By announcing it. Oh yeah. Let's see what chat.
These big old orange kitties are going to be so hard. I guess they're for it's kind of easy to tell because it's the only ones with the green foliage around it. That helps a little bit. All of these goldfish just have their mouth open. <laughs> well, I don't really see. Is there an air stone in there? Like, oh, there's some little air bubbles on one side. You think the tank is overstocked? I know the fish look really happy if you ask me. Can't. I'm a little disappointed there's no snails. There's a. I don't even know. What's it called? Crab? No. In the bottom left corner. It's like a hermit crab. That's it for the shell representation in this tank. Oh, I just saw the black cat and the black and white cat in the background of the tank. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, where, like, I don't understand the depth of this tank for it to be, like, on this bookshelf and that cat to be behind it. Some really skinny goldfish. What about the fish outside the tank? That one fish, that one goldfish that's like... Talking to the cats? Yeah. <laughs> Just checking in, seeing how they're doing. Do you think that fish have feelings? Mm, no. I feel like if they did, they wouldn't get caught and raised in tanks. They run away. Well, I mean, you can have feelings and be dumb. <laughs> Matt. Did you say that Matt can come up here if he does the Myrtle puzzle right now? Yep. Or if he wants to read chat to us. But he has to read it to us in his best stewardess voice. Stewardess voice? Yes.
I want to feel like we are flying first class. <laughs> Does Alex have a stewardess voice? Yup. Do you or Steven have different voices when you like make professional phone calls? Uh, probably. I know Scotty does. Like you, your voice, the guys, their voice gets a little bit deeper. Fishy question. Would iron on rocks be okay? No, iron or rocks be okay in a fish tank? Um, that is a question for someone in chat to answer. But I read it. <laughs> Jenna, you're so smart and kind. You knew for a fact not even to attempt to ask me. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's asking it? Nope. If Jenna can't answer, there's been no way I can. Unless it's about snails. It's the one spot I got her beat. But even then, she's let's, catching up. Let's rephrase that. Um, would iron ore rocks be okay in a snail tank? <laughs> um, can you tell me what an iron ore rock is? I cannot. Okay, then I cannot. And Chad is behind, so they haven't answered his question for us. Who are we tasking with finding out this information? Maybe like give them some accountability. Mm, I say Nathan. Is okay. Nathan. Yeah, okay, Nathan. Find out if iron ore rocks are okay in a fish tank. He just came in, so perfect timing. That's what you get for joining the stream. You gotta put him to work. Like my own weird type of hazy. <laughs> to remain in the chat, you must do the following. <laughs> Are you going to kick him out of chat if he doesn't answer? <laughs> no, because then I'd have to kick us out for not knowing the answer. No, double standards are fine, right? Oh man, you sounded just like Matt. But I need a lightish one. Hey, <clears throat> Zen, who is not Nathan Hovey, said iron oxide is a common mineral that makes up 5% of the Earth's crust. So rocks with iron oxide stains are not poisonous. However, you should test rocks for safety before adding them to your aquarium. <laughs> Sisters watching from in her room. What? Lillian's watching in her room. Oh, yeah. She doesn't want to come out and help you? She probably doesn't know that that was an option. I just told them this morning, like, I'm going to be streaming in here. If you need to go get something, it's fine. Just be quiet. <laughs> we know she's been eyeballing this puzzle. Now's her chance.
And then Zen says you can use the vinegar test to see how a rock will hold up to corrosive elements in the water. Put the rock in an acidic solution like vinegar and look for fizzing or bubbling. I did know about the vinegar test. Dee Dee came in. Dee Dee! Lillian has faith that you can beat me on your own. Oh, I'm, I'm not going to beat you. Okay, you never know. I could stall out. Just get stuck. Maybe she'll come help if I ask her to. <laughs> No, it's, I don't need your help, Lillian. It's, do you want to help? It's a, you can if you want to. You don't have to. You would have to be reasonably dressed, Lillian. So, also take that into consideration. <laughs> Dee Dee. I used to start a puzzle on Friday nights a long time ago. Couldn't stop till it was done or noon on Saturday. <clears throat> Steven and I have done a few puzzles together. Um, but not like seriously have to do it until we finish. Like... So Steven is the supportive puzzle partner? Yeah, like he'll help. <laughs> he doesn't hurt anything by working on the puzzle. Yeah, Josh likes to grab a piece, flip it upside down, and shove it in a random spot. And that's his helping. He sounds very helpful. Yeah, he thinks so. This is the funniest thing ever, too. Then once, I guess, some bingo squares, she asked, I should tell people about last week's, last week's What the Fish game. <clears throat> what was the theme? It was tiger themed, but oh, I got points on that one. I remember. Yeah, um, I'm trying to remember. I think there was a tiger barb. And that is like trying to send us expensive houses that are way out of our price range. Does he want you to move in next to him? Just tell him to dig his tunnel. Dig a tunnel. But Kelly has said that like there is nothing in Iowa. Isn't that what she said on what your plants?
Guess you'll just have to move here. <laughs> Lillian would love all the rain we get. Would she? I think she <laughs> would love to probably be near her friends. Oh, Kelly says Iowa is not a state I'd try to move to. What if, um, where does Grant live in Iowa? Des Moines? Des Moines? What if, what if we move to that part of Iowa? Would that work? Yeah, I think it's like two hours away from that. So like a decent tunnel. Oh, you're coming to help? Nope. Okay. Oh, her. I thought you meant me. <laughs> if you want to like, come on. Yay. Oh my God. Yes. Like, where else? Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> five hours from him. May as well be 20 hours. Oh, if you want to look at the picture, as pulling some of these like neck pieces. Mm -hmm. Kelly. Des Moines is a tragically uncool town, is what Kelly says. You might as well just live in Fort Wayne. Lillian, if we could move somewhere, where would you want to move? I want to stay here because I have my friends. <laughs> <laughs> you gave her the chance to move. We should move closer to the equator. <laughs> That's what Stephen said. Dee Dee wants she to wants to move, move closer to me. She just doesn't know it yet. Lillian, who is your favorite fish tube channel? Stephen P. 2003. I don't really know any other ones. You don't know Annette? <laughs> My feelings are hurt. My heart is breaking. Any more net pieces? I went through it through everything yet. The net is over here. You knew that? Yeah. Oh, well, this cat's taller. It would jump out at me. Mm. It looks like you could just if I could afford a nine hundred thousand dollar house, I'd just stay here. That would get us a good chunk of private secluded land on a lake in a pretty big house. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So, Lillian, if you had to move somewhere, 
like out of state? Out of state, where would it be? Texas. Is she um, speaking loud enough for people to hear? Yeah, she said Texas. Okay. Does she like riding horses? No. Is that what Zen does all day? Ride horses in Texas? Yeah. Sounds accurate. Zen, how many horses are you currently riding? She's got one in each hand. <laughs> Yeah, I was pulling what might be like rock pieces if you want for here. She hasn't ridden a horse since she sold theirs. She had horses. I don't know that that's like helping or hurting your case. <laughs> She's been there, done that. I think Matthew wants to help build the puzzle. Um, he probably wants to be on his computer. Mm. Is he liking his new setup? Well, you know, Stephen built a computer for him for Christmas. Mm -hmm. And so he is probably very much enjoying that school was canceled. I was checking like every minute to see if it was canceled in the car. Oh, this goes with that like uh, cat over there. Lillian, uh, I, one of my errands I had to do yesterday was she has a key stuck on her clarinet and we took it to the rental place to see if they could fix it since it's under warranty. And they're like, how about just a brand new clarinet? Cause like it was backed up by a month so it wouldn't be fixed for like a few months. Yeah. So did you get her a brand new one? Yep, it's still rented, it's still under warranty. It's just, we have another year to pay on it. Which really just means it's under warranty for another year. That's cool. They actually told us, like, <clears throat> don't pay it off early unless you're going to, like, plan to get it serviced. Because as long as you're renting it, everything is, like, 100% covered. And it's, like, $20 a month to rent it, so... This is a cat behind the fish. Yep. See it? So if you want to like move those pieces in that general area. Where, where I can't reach it? You can't reach right here? It's a long spread. You're taller than me. <laughs> that, means that means nothing. She's just got to rub it in. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. I'll be right back. How tall is Lillian? Last time you got measured, were you 5'1 or 5'2? 5'2. 5'2. Not that much taller than you. Yeah. 
You think you're gonna continue to grow? Well, I don't know. Do you think you will be taller than Annette? I don't know how tall Annette is. Annette, how tall are you? Is she there still? I don't know. How tall am I? Five eight. That's really tall. Kelly says Annette is pretty tall. So who's taller, Kelly or Annette? Um, Kelly, I think. It depends on what shoes we're wearing. Matt keeps muting us. I do not. Ask how does it it's probably YouTube. You know, YouTube likes to just do its own thing. I wasn't muting. Can you hear me still? Yes. I just had to get up my... I keep on getting spam calls. So I just had to get up and, like, see. And it's like, spam likely has called me, like, six times. That's a cool name. That's a cool name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had a call with the car yesterday and it said spam likely and the number was like one 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 and Lily was like why didn't you answer? <laughs> and what was your response to that? Because it was spam. <laughs> I answer spam calls. Okay, should. so I finished the twin kitties. Finish the white kitty. Let's see what kitty is this one with like. Oh, that one's these eyes. Annette, are you taller than Jake? I think so. I didn't really get all up in his business to find out though. He's a little shorter than Kelly, but not like significantly shorter. You think we'll go to school again today? Today? You're already well, out no, of school to today. For tomorrow. <laughs> not even raining anymore. So? It was like barely raining this morning. Now, there are parts that we were under a tornado warning. I oh, know, I got it. Though. I think they'll cancel school tomorrow just for funs and giggles. Yeah. Don't you love school though? Not really. Welcome to Melvin and Geek Boy. No, do you want one? Already have one. Okay. Well, thank you for asking, though. Mm. Oh, this is so cute. Mm 
Hate when I'm looking for a very specific piece and I can't find it. <laughs> of course. Here are some pieces if you want to look through. Mm -hmm. These are all good plants. <laughs> 22 people watching. I'm popular. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Two of those people are me. Two are you? Well, I have it on the TV. And then I have it on here just in case. A different cat looking. Oh, that's that cat. I should look for this blue line. Oh, it's like the whole edge. Mm. Oh, I guess I could do the outline of the tank in my next goal. We have zero stream competition. Is what Steven said. What competition? Zero string competition. What does that mean? Nobody streaming. Yep, that's what it means. Are you coming to help too? I'm observing. Thanks, <laughs> Steven. Nobody else streaming. <laughs> I hone the market for this streaming slot. <laughs> what? I filed here, so I'm not gonna read what Geek Boy said out loud. Oh, wait, let me go read that. <laughs> Adult stuff. <laughs> Just maybe Charlie will like send a voice message to play for our child. <laughs> he can make Discord talk. <laughs> you don't have to be that kid friendly. We won't. We'll strategically not read things out loud. I don't know how you do anything with a glare. Surface. Oh, have you not found all the edge pieces yet? Um, I guess I can. Are you going to help? Search. No, I mean, I'm not going <laughs> to. No, he shall hinder the experience. I might. <laughs> it wouldn't be in there. Those are all plant pieces from the oh, middle. Okay. I guess you'll prevent Lillian from looking through that box anymore. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Found some crab legs. So what's on the menu for dinner tonight? Uh, probably a pasta laya. Lillian is just happy you asked that question <laughs> because every <laughs> night she's like, what are we having for dinner? And I just say food. Because apparently <laughs> I, I make a bad face or whatever. You mean you react disgusted to every answer? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Stephen when we talk about cheese. Oh, you want some like cheesy lasagna, lasagna, don't you, Stephen? Extra sharp cheddar. Mm hmm. Mozzarella on a pizza. Delicious. With a side of cheese sticks. Don't give a disgusted face to everything. <laughs> How do you feel about pasta laya? <laughs> I don't really like pasta lasagna. Oh, what a shot. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Zen says lasagna with cream cheese instead of ricotta. That's, that's, no. <laughs> Not a real thing. Good. How dare he talk about your cooking like that, Jenna? I don't even like the Blasphemy. Okay. What about these orange cat mixes? Stretch over the cat You guys are making great progress. Give me a run for my money. What a surprise you called the cat and she decided to be in your lap. <laughs> so you sounded a little jealous, Jenna. No, she has been like all over me this whole time. Probably because she ate a ring in the center of her food bowl and now it's empty. <laughs> <laughs> Didi says, no matter what I fix Tony, he eats it and won't say anything negative unless I voice dissatisfaction. Then he'll agree. He'll jump on the agree bandwagon. Now that you mentioned it, it did taste a little funky. I see the pieces sitting like this. There's a chair right there. You can use the chair if you'd like. Yeah. <laughs> then you wouldn't be able to complain. Yeah. <laughs> Annette, are you looking forward to your children becoming teenagers? No. <laughs> You're not, you will be a teenager. In August. Uh, no, not quite. 13 is when they hit teenager years. Not middle school. Grocery bills about to skyrocket. You got a couple years left. <laughs> Renette, she has two boys, so. You might have to eat Kellogg's cereal for dinner. <laughs> they are already eating me out of house and home. Like, non-stop eating. So, I can only imagine what it's going to be like once they start getting more active in, like, sports and stuff. What 
is this netting to? Oh, this is part of a book. So here. Did you find it? Did you solve the puzzle for us? There you go. Did he just give up? After he turned a bunch of pieces upside down. Wow. So this puzzle, some of the edge pieces are not like a straight edge. Like some of them are a little bit rounded. Some of them, the edge is like very small. Like that. What you're saying is this is a very bad puzzle. <laughs> I'm gonna work on goldfish. She could. How long do you think this puzzle will take? I don't know. How long do you think it'll take? More than a three. <laughs> Speaking What's of, her guess? someone bring Geek Boy some lunch. Mrs. Geek. Are you going to bring him lunch, Lillian? No. no. Oh. Well, that's kind of rude. <laughs> Isn't Matt the delivery man? I'm sure the stream is on mute somehow already. Steven, you can release the dogs if you want. They're not going to, I don't think they're going to bother anything, actually. You're just going to jump up on the table and destroy everything. you got to start over. Mm -hmm. I would be if they did that. I'm sure the cat will do that. What does this goldfish look like? It's like a side eye. Not this one. This one is the one that's looking with the cats. This one's his buddy. I just swimming with him. Yeah. 
And those are going to go somewhere around here in this position. This is the fish that's swimming backwards. Oh, the discus. Do you want to add these to the web? No. I'll tough it out, I guess. Okay. So it goes there. This goes about here. Just plus legs. Okay. Got pieces to this yellow book. Oh my goodness. <laughs> on your leg? Yeah, he like walked across my leg and then stopped. Why shouldn't she? <laughs> like purpley pieces over there. Oh, does Annette know what tweaking out means? Do I know what? What tweaking out means. Yeah, why do you know what that means? <laughs> I feel like there's <laughs> a different meaning. Means what when you, you are not. It means, Annette? <laughs> um, it means you are not in the right state of mind and under the influence. 
<laughs> That's what I said too. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, okay, what does it mean to you? I don't know. I forgot. What the <laughs> meaning was, but like. I think she means in a general meaning, not in a breaking bad kind of way. Um, hmm. What counts as in a vehicle? Um, anything that you're riding that is not your legs. So well, a vehicle, like is it a motor operated vehicle? Because that could be something like a tractor, a lawnmower, anything that's like power or gas operated. Not necessarily like a bike would count or a skateboard or a scooter. I disagree that um, a bike is. Um, a <laughs> I think that a bike is a vehicle. I disagree. I think Why is a bike a vehicle, Jenna? Cora Lillian says that your bike is not a vehicle. How fast do you have to go? Like if you're running 15 miles per hour or something pretty solid, would that count? No. I would so say anything that you can't outrun. The fastest person in the world can't outrun. And that you got very quiet all of a sudden. Am I better? Am I still quiet? Jenna! I can hear you. Baby, come back to <laughs> me. Much louder. Okay. <laughs> I didn't do anything. So if you have to follow the traffic laws, maybe we could say that's a good indicator so that it's a vehicle. I take it your school district doesn't do the bike bus driver? The what? So some school districts have started to implement like safe biking routes. So adults on bikes would pick up students from their home on their bikes. I mean, like, and they would go on a bike route to and from school with supervision. You can bike to school without supervision if you live close enough to the school. Well, yeah, but this is just like safer. <laughs> Peace of mind. You do not live close enough to the school to bike, though. I don't want to bike. Can you put this over by the red? Yeah. There you go. Thank you. So Cora says it's so kids that would otherwise walk or bike alone to school have parent volunteers and high visibility vests and things to keep them safe on the way to school. Yeah, it might be a more common thing in our area than near you guys. But some parents, kind of like how they have like the safety parents at the school with the vests on, like stopping cars and letting kids cross a crosswalk and all that. There are some parents that'll meet at certain large intersections that the biking route will go down. And then there will be an adult that leads the charge of all the kids on the bikes. And then an adult at the end to make sure no kids get left behind. That's and they're all just on their bikes, just going through a route. Picking up all the 
kids along the way. Oh, I think this is the rock. That's what this is. Okay, so that is below the discus. There's like more looking orange pieces. Over here there's more orange pieces. Let's see the chat. And this is <laughs> Can you smell what the rock is cooking? <laughs> Steven said he grew up on a street without street lights. Yeah. When I, the place I left before I moved to Washington, it was Lake Arrowhead, California. And we had, I think, very, very few and far between streetlights. Everything was just stop signs. It was always just, um, yeah, we had one middle school, one high school, one elementary school on the mountain. And, like, every house was at least, like, a mile away from each other. So I could not imagine having to do that, being, like, that far from everything. So y'all are in a neighborhood now, right? Yeah. Yeah. We grew up, well, not we, I grew up in the same neighborhood we live in now, so, like, everything is pretty much the same. It's a little bit more secluded where uh, my mom's house is, because she lived on a corner in the back by the woods, so we had a neighbor next to us and one across the street, and then... There were woods on two sides of us, and they like built some houses on one side of the woods, but one side is still kind of sketchy wood area. Would you go in the woods by Mimi's house? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> would she go alone is the question. And would she come back? Have you been in the woods by Mimi's house? No. <laughs> You're like, is there a story I don't know about? Can you hear the coffee being ground? Yes. Steven needs some energy. No, well, Steven is grounding coffee. I can't drink coffee regularly. Not all of us have that Zen Gen gene.
Are you okay? Yeah. My back just hurts. Does anyone want one of those sitting bathtubs like I was seeing on TV for old people? Like not a chair in the tub, but a bathtub with a door that is chest height. So yeah. <laughs> those tubs, do you have to like sit in it while it's like mostly empty and then let the bath fill up to you and then let the bath drain almost all the way down? Because that part seems bad I feel like I'm tall enough to just cannonball in you can probably do gymnastics if you wanted oops sorry the worst part of taking a bath is waiting for it to fill getting out might be hazardous <laughs> So what all do you have that you've kind of completed? In the puzzle? Yep. Um, can you see? So Lillian has been working on these orange cats. And I think we'll just go. We have the net done. We have some of the books done. Oh, I haven't even worked on the net. We have part of the rock structure done. A net looks way ahead, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because she does puzzles like all the time. Yeah, I've completed the orange kitties along with the little pink thing in the red book that was next to him. I got the rock plus the discus. I've got the yellow, the white kitty plus the goldfish and red plant. I finished the cat up here. Got these books, finished these two goldfish, some clusters of fish, more goldfish, and then the corner books. But... Now it's just getting to the annoying part. So it's your time to catch up. <laughs> Exit solo mode. I'm learning how to click buttons. <laughs> Let's work on this net. And yeah, then Stephen did call Lillian and I losers. <laughs> How do you feel about that, Lillian? 
my dad call me a loser? Yes. Um, I don't know. Does it make you sad? Oh, okay. <clears throat> She's going to be traumatized for the rest of her life. She's going to have to come move in with me. She's like, mm, I don't care as much now. Everything can be a competition like aquascaping. <laughs> okay, finish the netting. You should cry and make your dad feel bad. Coru asks if you have a knife yet. You, Lillian. Why would I need a knife? Or something that your parents will trust you with when you're a teenager. Do you think that Steven would call you a loser if you had a knife? A little dark, Coro. I'm sure Gina could hook her up. I don't need a knife. You don't. I agree. What to work on? What to work on? What is this? Oh, I think it's these books. Might be part of these books over here. Maybe. Benjamin Peters wants to know if watching us do puzzles is asmr um i don't think we have any like <laughs> oh lillian's gonna do it I'm gonna make it an asmr stream where's the mic huh where's the mic? where are you steven Also use the word tingle, slowly and <laughs> Yeah. That's what they're saying in chat too. Brain tingles that you get. <laughs> to everyone does use the word tingles. All these pieces look the same. <laughs> Over these pieces. Here's some more orange oh, pieces. Just hoarding them? I told you there were more orange pieces. Did you think you want to look over there? In the place where I told you, yes. Uh, I did. Oh. 
got your mic. Oh. Yeah, Where is this from? That's like the top of the water line. Hey, get off the puzzles, silly kitty. Bass boosted THX sound gives Poro ASMR. Which sounds do you watch ASMR for, William? Which ones do you like? I don't really know. You don't know. You don't know which ones. What they're doing. What kind of sounds they're making. I don't know what they're doing. That's just fine. Normally they're like speaking in like a whole different language and I just kind of like listen, I guess. You're watching foreign ASMR? That's all there is. <laughs> what about mukbang MSIR? Do you watch mukbang, William? Can't. Nasty. Mm hmm. Giving you colors that make sense. Well, I don't really know where they go. Is at the top, the yellow and the green. Some of them I'm telling you where they go. Yeah, I know. I said that he could let them out. And he said, nope, I hate dogs. <laughs> <laughs> they would not bother us. So Steven's just being greedy. He wants to keep them all to himself. Probably. Mine. He's gonna like rile them up on purpose and then let them out. <laughs> we put their bed. Yeah. They don't, they're not using it. Because they're not in here. They have a whole sofa, two whole sofas. They can lay on. But yes, in case anyone is wondering, I am using the dog bed as a pillow to sit on. <laughs> Dogs are like, you're in my territory. Yeah, Steven, you can let them out. They're not going to bother anyone. You see them all day. What are you talking about? I'm already bothered, Jenna. Let's not do that. I didn't need to. Just 
Jasmine. We need an extra added layer of difficulty to spice things up. Yeah. And Annette needs to tie one hand behind her back. I <laughs> <laughs> Jenna, you'd have to come here and do it. <laughs> Can't tie my own hand behind my back. We can send Coro. I think he's the closest. No. Can if you'd like, make sure the gate is closed because it was windy. Like, check before you let them out. <laughs> Enjoy the tap tap of dogs' nails, just more ASMR. <laughs> We like to provide a well-rounded service here. Would Luna help with the puzzle? <laughs> no. No, not, I don't think you do. What did you say, Annette? I said no. <laughs> She's not very puzzle healthy. Where is this fish? Where's my box? Of course, I lost my box. Oh, there it is. Okay. Blue fish. Oh, it's the decorative one. So it does go over here. I think I put this one in the wrong spot. It did. They're all bringing chaos. Oh, you're wet. I know. They're like a huge puddle. They're like, just like, just slide in there. And now she has to get that blanket there. I see. Thank you. 
Susan can hear the dogs tapping. <laughs> it looks like everyone is puzzled. Are you so happy, Coco? You're so happy. You're so happy. Jenna cheered for me like that. I'd be a happy dog too. <laughs> Stamina is that thing you have for 15 to 30 seconds. What? That's what Geek Boy said. Stamina is the thing you have for 15 to 30 seconds. Facts. You know what stamina is, Lillian? <laughs> She's like, this isn't school. Why am I being quizzed? <laughs> Gotta keep her sharp. How is Lillian's lizard thing doing? <laughs> yeah. What is her name? Vicky. And what kind of lizard thing is she? A gargoyle. A gargoyle like Yeah. JJ didn't want anyone to hear. She made sure to shake very loud. <laughs> yeah. You did it. Come here. Yeah, you have trouble listening sometimes. But... Stamina doesn't have to mean anything inappropriate, then. Yeah. Runners need stamina. Do you know of any inappropriate things, Lillian? What what concerning term should Zen ask her children if they know? I don't. Why are you asking me that? Because <laughs> you're a child. She is a child who is your age. So what, what she are they looking for to make sure that she doesn't need to be concerned? I mean, like, I don't know. 
I mean, you know a lot of stuff that real school because kids tell you. Oh, what do they tell you? Stuff. Stuff and things. <laughs> Words and stuff. Cool stuff. <laughs> Jojo. Jojo. I mean, like, a lot of people read about stuff. Okay, Zen, you can't let your kids read no more. No. <laughs> no reading. <laughs> no, yeah, like, certain books. Certain books have stuff in them. What book should she be making sure aren't on the, the reading list I this year? You ever heard of, um, I forgot what it's called, but it's like this ice hockey love story. What's inappropriate about it? It's, um, <laughs> I don't know. That's stuff in it. Finn is in Texas. Pretty sure reading is going to be against the law any minute now. <laughs> How we got her in May of 2020. Yeah, so she was just a tiny baby. So she is probably four. She's like you're old. She was like eight weeks old when we got her. You're old, Jojo. She was eight weeks old and she was seven pounds. It's not very big. I mean, I can lift her, but you like the still like the size of her head. Yeah. But she's not on camera, so nobody knows what you're talking about. <laughs> the the camera is this, so no, she should not get on camera. <laughs> Just put her on top of the puzzle. We might lose a few. Here's another like cat. Why are you giving them to me? I don't know where they go. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. It just goes over here. No, Benjamin saw a puppy butt. <laughs> Was it white or brown? Oh, We're waiting on your answer, Benjamin. Was it white or brown? White. No, it's JoJo. <laughs> He's wagging her tail. Coco, maybe don't make gross licking sounds <laughs> while we're doing this. He says it's ASMR. How do you know that's not the sound they want to hear? It's ASMR. Gotta give the audience what they want. I know I'm not making the licking sound. <laughs> Are you holding some more pieces? Well, you would have to look. So far. Is 
Did Zachary, like, come out of his room at all? Yeah, he had breakfast. <laughs> <coughs> Bless. <coughs> well, lunch. He has not had lunch yet. Oh. Is Lillian making grilled cheese? No. <laughs> There, this is part of that cookbook. I don't think we have enough cheese. You don't think we have enough cheese? Mm -hmm. Where are you gonna eat? Steven ate all the cheese? Yeah, but pizza rolls are like pre made. And there's not enough pizza rolls for that. No, he. I was just gonna let him eat a ham sandwich like he does for school. Mm -hmm. Okay. We are almost two hours into the stream, Jenna. Does it feel like it's been that long? I, are we almost two hours or are we almost three hours? Oh, is it three hours? Wow. We got to get on this. Okay. Do this. Uh, 10 30 Central. Okay, we got to put the boosters on. I'm puzzled out. You're puzzled out? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you, Lillian. Thank you, Lillian. Lasted a lot longer than I thought. Now I'm all alone again. <laughs> it's okay. You have me still. <laughs> Well, except for I have all the animals here. <laughs> Where all these kitty paws go.
Yeah, I can go faster. If we had someone here who was reading chat and I didn't have to like look over at chat or anything, I could go faster. Didi said maybe next time she can help with chat. Yeah, and then if I do this again next time, it won't be on a Wednesday half day where I have less time. <laughs> what time do you have to stop, you said? 12.20. Where's this yellow
if my puzzle was a piece of granite, I would be way ahead right now. <laughs> Cora put uh, um, some tongue twisters in chat. Can you say them all, Jenna? Coral over here thinking I got catch and speak and stuff up. Um... Where did push? Story? No. No. Can you hear me snoring? Is Coco EP? What does that mean? I have no idea. <laughs> I 
No, I don't, Dee Dee. I'm the only non-mouth breather when I sleep in the house. Oh, Jojo is the one who's snoring. Uh, Coco is just sitting on the sofa, just being a dog for the moment. Jojo so is always sleepy. Sometimes she <laughs> snores with her eyes open. <laughs> but not this time. Maybe she's got to deviate it. She might. I assume dogs have symptoms. They have two nostrils. <laughs> Sometimes the cat snore, our cat snores sometimes too. Do your cats snore? My cats do not snore. Luna, the dog snores, and sometimes I'll send Brickley. Me and Brickley like to send snoring snaps. And sometimes I'll send her the dog and see if she can tell the difference between a dog and a person. If I cuss on a live stream, do I need to wash my mouth out with soap? Who said that? Dee Dee? No! Are you trying to tell me I need to go wash my mouth out with soap, Dee Dee? Is that what you're implying? I think it is. I feel very betrayed by you right now, Dee Dee. Zen says I'm not allowed to curse. Mm. 
You're just not allowed to do it without me there to listen to it. What do you consider a curse word? Like, there are words that, like, you wouldn't want your kids to say, but they're not technically curse words. I know. There's some words that, like, are curse words, but it just depends on how it's used to if it's good or bad. I guess. I don't know. Are you talking about, like, hmm... But I think on the bingo card, it says F-bomb is strong. There's a difference between fuck you and fuck a stub my toe. <laughs> so depending on how the word is used... Not necessarily wash your mouth out with soap worthy. You would be disappointed if you didn't cuss. If I didn't what? If you didn't cuss. Would I be disappointed? No, Dee Dee would be disappointed in you. Okay. You can always count on me and your bingo card and F bomb. If I if if I got a little alcohol in me, you can probably get a couple other words. <laughs> I've been mining my P's and Q's with my booze. <laughs>
What other bingo squares do we think people need while we have time? Mm, you know the one's better than me. I know Jenny could always do an unboxing. Oh, does this count as an unboxing? We unboxed the pieces. <laughs> I don't know. If someone needs the square, I'm going to say no. Wow. Jenna's always so strict. I would have let y'all have it. And if we say whatever Benjamin is saying in chat, he can't count it towards his square because that would be cheating. Yeah, you got to get us to talk about the topic naturally and organically. Did Lillian leaving count as panelist randomly disappears? <laughs> I mean, I don't know that it was random. She just kind of announced that she was going. Can everyone else mark the square? Um, what about Steven leaving chat? Is that random enough? Probably. See, if we were muted and our we had audio issues, they wouldn't even be able to tell because they can't see your mouths. <laughs> These are giant mollies, if that's what they are. These ones are going the wrong way. What? There's two of them. Do I have to flip them over this way? Well, their eyes are on the bottom. Whatever. Oh, Benjamin did ask if it was still storming over here. It, I don't hear anything. It doesn't look dark outside. Um, so it's not storming. I don't know if it's done. Do you think it was justified for the kids to take off school for this weather? I mean, for safety reasons, probably. I'd rather them, because they ride the bus. I'd rather know they're safe at home than in a ditch. True. And I understand that, like, there are teachers who teach at the school, but they live maybe 30, 40 minutes, an hour away, and they don't want to drive to school, put themselves in jeopardy. So did you have your pieces sorted by color in advance? Yeah, in the drawers. Well, some. Like, there's a lot of green, so. Yeah. 
as I was picking stuff out, I only all that was left were the colors that I wasn't picking. So I have this one that's like random it darkness now. This one that's green. And then just this another dark. <laughs> I've already done all the blues and oranges and green. Um, yeah, like the little yellow stuff. And I should have gotten some like Tupperware pieces and pre-sorted my colors. Yeah, going by color tends to help a lot, except for when it's very scattered like this. One of the thing I like about the Thomas Kincaid puzzles is there's normally some form of like a sunset sky and then there's sometimes water and then land. So it's easy to work on like a section at a time. Yeah. It's not as all over the place. Yeah, Barbara, we both did start with the edges. Yep, gotta start with the edges, give you a baseline. How would you feel about that, Annette? Did you read Geek's comment? I'd be really annoyed. I've been seeing on TikTok a lot of like the puzzle competitions because it's that time of the year where people go and do, compete and everything building puzzles. And sometimes some of the volunteers would pick up the plastic and not check it and there'd be like a piece in there and everything. So they would get to like the very end of their puzzle and be missing pieces. And I would be very frustrated. That happened to me. So I got Lily in a puzzle for Christmas that she was working on and she finished it and she could not find one piece. And we thought maybe it was missing. So I went and bought her the same exact puzzle so she could look for the piece and then she found it. <laughs> That's how things go. Yeah, you remember I did that cat puzzle you guys got me? Yeah. And I ended up with, like, random extra pieces. There were, like, four or five edge pieces. I spent so long trying to figure out how I messed up the edges. And it's just I had four or five extra connected edge pieces. Thank you. 
I'm coming to assist slowly. This is Jimmy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I wasn't rushing, I'd have it organized as well by, like, what type it was. Like, how many holes they had on each piece. So that way, if I was looking for a specific style one, it'd be easier, too.
take a shower. Or something. Okay. Yes. You can hear Coco snoring too. She doesn't need to be asleep to snore. What's this sesh? Goes this way. Oh, it's the fish that sticks out. That's what this is. I forgot about that. How is the what? I forgot about the fish that sticks out. So I'm all like looking in the tank for where this face goes. And it's the one that sticks out of the tank. That's a whole freaking hour. You sound excited. Yeah. <laughs> well, we are losing bad. Thank you. I just want to make sure you do that. <laughs> this is like over half the puzzle. Though. Yeah. It's almost like she does a lot of these. <laughs> no. Me never. Are you helping or just judging over here? I don't know. Judging. I'm not very helpful. Oh, I've noticed. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> 
go, team. You don't sound very excited. I just, there's no way you're going to win, so. Unless. Well, that has a tragic well, accident. Well, no. ouch. <laughs> I was just thinking, like, her kids will be home from school soon. Oh. <laughs> Well, you don't think they'd help? I don't think they would. Would they? Um, maybe, but Liam would probably just want to watch TV. He would be a Zachary in this situation. Zachary would probably help. But very begrudgingly so, because we would be taking him away from the computer. Yeah, he would be wondering <laughs> when he's allowed to stop helping. Oh, are we still looking for orange cat pieces? Yeah. Did y'all find all the edge pieces? Yes. Good job. <laughs> dark fur. Oh, that's the dark cat. Okay. This cat or that cat? So I sure do. Maybe you could put in that chair over there. Mm, I'm already on the floor. I don't want to get up. <laughs> he's found his home and he's sticking to it. I'm a very supportive husband, geek. And friend. Supportive. You're supporting me too in my hobby. Did he retracted something? Can't see it. There's no way you're going to win Husband of the Year Award. No. Oh. <laughs> Should we have a group puzzle at the, in the hospitality room with the clash? Just open to anyone that wants to sit in there and do it. That sounds very stressful. Like pieces are going to get lost. Yeah, if you walk away from that puzzle, it's, it's over. We can always have Geek be in charge of it. And he has to count every single puzzle piece every time someone leaves. <laughs> Just to make sure all are accounted for. Really quiet. She said we could always have Geek keep track of every single puzzle piece every time someone leaves the room. Oh. Because we have ears. So that's how we can hear. I can't shit. Sounds like a smart idea if you ask me. And I know he can count really high, so. He can count. Well... How big of a puzzle do we think he would need to count to? Like 100 piece puzzle? A no, like a 2,000 piece. piece. Then I think Stephen and I know who Arsenio Hall is. Annette, do you know who Arsenio Hall is? Nope. 
You know who he is. Yeah. 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 Ooh, 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 ooh. That guy. Good. From like the early 90s, possibly. Yeah. yeah. He can count to 11, is what Geek Boy says. Me? Geek, yeah. Geek Boy oh. says he can count to 11. I can count all the way until I get tired of counting. To 55? 55. I can tell you how to do it faster than you can t say poop de poop de pants. Chenna. <laughs> Yes. Zero people get that reference in chat. I got the reference. I know, that's why I said it. Okay. Just for you. I, I know. Did you get it, Lil? No. <laughs> Did you get it, Annette? No. But I yeah, thought it was funny that you thought it was funny. Of the internet when anything passed for humor. <laughs> What's up, brother? Tuesday, Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> what? Were you responding to it now? Special players? <laughs> special players? Special teams? Special players. Tuesday, Tuesday. They are from the same generation. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> Well, then got brownie points. She's the only person I've done it to that knows what it means. I still don't know what it means. But I've just been seeing the TikToks of, like, women going up to men and being like, what's up, brother? Just to see if they know what it means and stuff. Yeah. Yes, inside jokes that only the panel understands are always good content. Group X is not, like, something secretive between us. This was on the internet. Yeah. Had to, uh... <laughs> consumed that specific content for the like 20 minutes that they were famous. They're still famous. Rubex? No, not really. Okay. No. I don't really know what you're talking about. Exactly. We know. I got two pieces together. <laughs> Good job. You did it. The puzzle is solved now. <laughs> no, I officially contributed. <laughs> you know, there were like two puzzle pieces stuck together straight out of the box. Too. Uh, that's annoying. So that you happens. contributed about half as much as the box of puzzle pieces contributed because there were two sets of two. Uh, <laughs> that happened to you too? Yeah. I unattached the three that were like already Group together. Well, they weren't really Arabian. Koro looks like he should be like, I don't know, 16. But he likes a lot of the same music that we listened to growing up. He's cultured in a <laughs> How old is Koro? Is he 17? I always assumed he was like Ian's age. 16. Okay, good. I was right. Are you sure it didn't go there? Okay. Cultured like a fine yogurt. Like that, you got He's 28, I think. He just turned 28. That is wrong. <laughs> Jenna rejects that conclusion. I do. I reject that. Younger people just keep looking younger. They're just eating.
I can't remember 28 or 18. I'm not on panel, therefore my voice is unheard. <laughs> Eric. What is he doing? Do you want to go pick up the babes from school? Should we get some goldfish? They look really versatile. Like you could keep them with discus and yeah. clownfish. We'll put them in your tank. Keep them with the angel and the ghost light. <laughs> no. Sounds like a plan. From now on. I'm not allowed. Oh, you would certainly be allowed if you had goldfish. You heard it here, folks. Jenna is getting goldfish. I put it in that five-gallon tank next to the bed, right? Is that is that enough in it? Yeah, what sure. Just do cleanings daily and make sure clean it daily. Lot of like, remove the goldfish and every single piece of hardscape and like scrub it and bleach the tank every day. Oh, yeah. Oh, perfection. Shouldn't do it any other way. <laughs> I already have that square. Nobody cares about your stupid cold fish. Is there anything that I could do to help Zen build her bingo card? Isn't there something oh, like panelists in stream abruptly? What if it was a net? Hey, so if there's four, so four plus people on panel, does it count with a net being over there and then the three of us being here? Three humans talking on panel. I don't know. We need a ruling. I don't know if she still needs that one, but. Did she like send you her list of what she needs? <laughs> um, pay attention. Does she send yeah. that at like yeah. 11 o'clock last night? 10 when I was asleep? Yeah. How dare you sleep, Go Jenna? How dare I sleep? How oh, dare you sleep? I don't like sharing a screen. I'm not going to drive. I'm sure I already said push fan blank. Uh, Why would we say that in here? Well, we just did. We did talk about tank mate, like goldfish being kept with. Uh, Guppies. Yeah, with guppies. You can also keep goldfish with um, shrimp for a, for a few minutes. For a few minutes. <laughs> Two goldfish. I think a few seconds, you mean? For a little while, but yeah, depends on. For enough time going. for you to breathe. Two and a half goldfish. Stripey noodles. Snakes. Anyone need reptiles? Snakes, frogs, loaches. So stripey noodles would be like sea snakes. What about your um, food cultures? Corn snakes. Grindle worms. Yeah. A safety meeting. Did we mention a fish event? 
Yeah, yeah we talked talking. about how we're going to the clash. Well, I I'm asking what tank mates can be kept with goldfish, and then I'm answering it too. So yeah, it counts. <laughs> Did you answer it? Yeah. What was it? Guppy. You said shrimp for a couple seconds. And shrimp for a little while. Um. Yeah, live, pretty much any live bear, goldfish would be good uh, population control. Just depends on what your goals are. Whether you want to periodically feed the goldfish. What in the hell? Crayfish are pretty good with goldfish. Are they? I don't know. Just reading chat. Zen, I'm a panelist, and I've gone AFK several times. In fact, I'm going to eat something. What are you going to eat? We have leftover spaghetti, right? Yes. So I think I'm going to have that. On panel? Yeah. No, does anyone need that? <laughs> That's, well, it's eating on camera. I'm not on camera. You'll have to go, like, sit in front of the camera? Nah. So sitting on the <laughs> table and cheating in front of the camera. I just plop the spaghetti right there on the puzzle and just uh, eat it really messily. Messily? No. Jenna rejects the suggestion. I do reject the suggestion. Cool. Coro does not accept me as a panelist, though. I'm sorry. Well, should tell Zen sorry. It's her bingo party. It's being sabotaged. That's random. Just got a text with an old picture from a coworker. Is it an old picture of you? Yeah, so it was like me and my two other fifth grade teachers. We took a picture in front of the greenery for fifth grade graduation. And she just texted me that picture. She must miss you. Does anyone would like to know what channel would you say I need to find a short about planaria looking like penis? Well, you could find that on my, uh, no, uh, on, on Stephen P. 2003, all Guess what time it is? Time for you to go get the kids off the bus. Is it? I'm trying to remember. I think I actually have 10 more minutes. I think I have the wrong time frame. Hold on. Let me check my alarm. So is it going to be a race whenever we oh, end yeah. the stream of whoever can take a picture of the completed puzzle and post it to their community tab first? Yes. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah, so I have 10 more minutes, actually. Oh, crap. This has been almost a four-hour stream. Can never build a puzzle for four hours. No. I can't do anything with four hours straight because I sleep. 
and play video games. Can you sleep for four hours straight? Uh, I mean, I guess like you night? enter different sleep cycles <laughs> and probably like jolt awake or something. No, okay. I can play video games for four hours straight. That's the only thing I can do. So wait, did you just take the box of puzzle pieces and put it? Okay, no, she's got it. Okay, just making sure you. Didn't... <laughs> I'm sorry. Were you accusing me of? <laughs> yes. Jenna's getting territorial over her puzzle. He's on camera, not on panel. He's he's not on camera though. He's not on camera or on panel. Show us them fingers. Okay. <laughs> So, like, Grant and Shelby, they stream sitting next to each other. No way. I didn't know that. And panelists? According to Cora, yes. Unless he needs that square, and then probably no. <laughs> it probably depends on the situation. Audio only, Stephen. Is it real? Are you a real person? No. Did you fail the audio robot test? The Turing test? What kind of person are you if you're not real? Imagination. Do you have an answer for that? For what? She said, what kind of person are you if you're not real? And you didn't hear it because a woman said it. I didn't hear it because <laughs> the phone is way over there and she's just like... What the fuck? I mean, hi Lillian, you didn't hear me. <laughs> Your daddy's been a naughty boy. <laughs> I love you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jenna. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing Steven puts up for us ladies. <laughs> Bingo. There have been so many of those in this stream. I was really good with my f bombs when I when I, Lillian was talking and stuff. Ugh. Okay, I got it for realsies. No AFK because I have to schedule some status meetings and add people to a team and then make my life. Sounds exciting. Yay. <laughs> Love it when you're sarcastic. Wouldn't it be funny if Annette like lost a piece or something like at the end? <laughs> what am I doing, Jenna? Did you hear that, Annette? What Lillian said? No. That's why you you gotta tell me. She said, wouldn't it be funny if Annette lost a piece and didn't know until the very end? My cat's already walked in the puzzle like four times, so these are real concerns. I always have to track down. Hopefully they haven't gone to the litter box or anything. I'm not digging pieces out of the litter box. Again. What time is it? Okay. Cool. No, oh, that's helpful. Enter Steven as a chauvinist for a chance to make your own sandwich.
Okay, I've got this whole top row done. I have more like goldfish pieces. Something you can't read out loud. Annette, who looks younger, Coro or Scuba Sivo? Coro. Yeah, I agree. Ian looks younger in person than he does on camera. Are you sure you're sure? You don't think it's these? Oh, okay. Um, orange cats. Um, let me see where above their heads. Okay. Oh, yeah, Daddy took my drink and put it way over here. <laughs> yeah. Sure. <laughs> uh, what did you say is the wrong way to put a laughing emoji? Any way Scotty uses it. The tilted, the tilted laughing face. What does that mean? Amen. What does it mean if someone uses the tilted laughing face? They're rolling. They're rolling. They're rolling them eyes at you. Like anything but that is fun. Anything but the sideways laughing emoji? Yeah. Like even even the regular laughing face emoji is better than that. Okay, so I think we're going to have to end the stream here. Okay. Thank you, everyone, for stopping by our completely random puzzle stream. Might see more of these in the future. Probably more with Jenna, maybe more with others. Um, yeah, so... Um,
we'll post on our community tab once we're done a picture of it and see how long it takes each one of us to finish it. Yep. Bye, everyone. Bye.